In the heart of Zen and Buddhist philosophy lies a timeless truth, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. Wisdom often blooms in silence, not in the cacophony of words we so readily share. Words are like seeds, once planted, they grow, sometimes into lush trees of understanding, but other times into thickets of misunderstanding and conflict. This teaching reminds us that discretion is a sacred tool, a shield to guard our inner peace and harmony with others. There is a profound Zen saying, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. It emphasizes the power of keeping certain matters private, even from those closest to us. This teaching resonates with the reality that sharing everything, even with family, can disrupt the delicate balance of relationships. To illustrate this lesson, let us delve into a story, a journey of self-realization and understanding, that unpacks why there are three critical things one should avoid sharing with their family. The first thing, personal struggles and weaknesses. A seeker once approached a Zen master, troubled by familial discord. Master, the seeker said, I have shared my struggles with my family, hoping for support, but instead, I feel judged and misunderstood. Why is this so? The master smiled gently, inviting the seeker to sit by the still waters of a pond. Do you see the reflection of the moon on the water? Asked the master. Yes, the seeker replied, now, throw a pebble into the pond, the master instructed. The seeker complied, and the ripples distorted the moon's reflection, the moon remains untouched, but its image is now unclear, the master explained. Your struggles are the moon, and your family is the water. Sharing too much of your pain causes ripples of worry, judgment, and interference. While your struggles are your own to overcome, their perspective may distort your reality. Sharing personal struggles with family may seem like a natural thing to do, but it can backfire. Families, bound by love, often react emotionally rather than objectively. This emotional lens can lead to unsolicited advice, judgment, or even a sense of disappointment. While their intentions may be pure, the outcome may leave you feeling vulnerable and misunderstood. Instead, Zen philosophy teaches us to face our struggles with inner strength and silence. Seek wisdom from within or through meditation. Strength lies not in sharing every burden but in carrying it gracefully. When you conquer your struggles quietly, your resilience becomes an inspiration, not a source of concern. The second thing, your financial matters. One day, a young disciple confided in the master, saying, I have shared every detail of my financial plans and successes with my family, yet it has only brought envy and tension. What should I do? The master handed the disciple a handful of sand and asked him to hold it tightly. As the disciple clenched his fist, the sand began to slip through his fingers. The more you try to hold on to this, the more it escapes, said the master. So too is the nature of wealth, it cannot be controlled by many hands without being lost. Money has a peculiar way of stirring emotions, even among the closest of kin. When you share your financial successes, failures, or plans with family, it can lead to unintended consequences like envy, unsolicited opinions, or even exploitation. The bonds of family can be tested when financial matters become a central topic of discussion, Zen philosophy urges us to treat wealth as a fleeting resource, not a defining aspect of our lives. Financial independence is a form of personal freedom, and sharing its details can bind you with expectations or entanglements. Like the sand slipping through the fingers, wealth should be managed quietly and wisely, free from the influence of external opinions, 
the third thing, your future plans. Another disciple once came to the master, frustrated by the lack of support for his dreams from his family. Master, I shared my vision for the future with my family, but they only discouraged me. Now, I feel disheartened and doubtful. The master led the disciple to a garden filled with budding flowers. Do you see these buds? Ask the master. If you were to pluck them now to show their beauty, they would never bloom into their full potential. Future plans are like delicate buds, they need time, care, and patience to blossom. Sharing them prematurely with family can invite doubts, criticism, or influence that might derail your focus. While family members may mean well, their perspectives often stem from their own fears or experiences, which may not align with your vision, Zen teaches us the virtue of patience and the power of quiet determination. Nurture your dreams in silence and allow them to bloom before revealing them to others. Once your plans have taken root and grown strong, they will withstand the winds of opinion and doubt. While the story illustrates the philosophical depth of avoiding unnecessary sharing, Practical wisdom lies in knowing how to apply these lessons in everyday life. Let us dive deeper into each of the three teachings, exploring their relevance and actionable insights, guarding your struggles. When facing adversity, it is natural to seek comfort in those closest to us. However, there is a subtle but profound difference between seeking support and offloading burdens indiscriminately. Families often have a vested emotional interest in your well-being, and this can sometimes cloud their judgment. 1. Develop inner resilience, meditation and mindfulness practices are invaluable tools. By sitting in stillness and observing your thoughts, you cultivate the ability to face challenges without external validation. This strengthens your capacity to endure hardships with grace. 2. Seek neutral guidance, when you need advice, seek it from mentors, therapists, or trusted friends who can offer an unbiased perspective. This ensures that your struggles are met with wisdom rather than emotional interference. 3. Choose your words wisely, if you must share with your family, frame your struggles in a way that conveys confidence in your ability to overcome them. For example, Instead of saying, I'm overwhelmed, say, I'm working on finding a solution. This reassures them while maintaining your autonomy. Keeping financial matters private. Money, though a practical necessity, is often a source of tension in relationships. When financial matters become a topic of discussion within the family, it can lead to misunderstandings, comparisons, or even conflicts. 1. Maintain financial boundaries, establish clear boundaries regarding money. Avoid lending or borrowing money within the family unless absolutely necessary, and ensure all transactions are transparent and documented. 2. Practice financial mindfulness, Zen teachings emphasize simplicity in minimalism. By adopting a frugal and intentional approach to spending, you reduce the need to explain or justify your financial decisions to anyone. 3. Celebrate quietly, success is a personal milestone, not a public spectacle. When you achieve financial goals, resist the urge to broadcast them. Celebrate privately or with trusted confidants who understand the value of discretion, protecting your dreams. Dreams are fragile in their infancy. Sharing them too early exposes them to the harsh winds of criticism, doubt, and unsolicited advice. Even well-meaning family members may inadvertently sow seeds of uncertainty in your mind. 1. Work in silence 
the Zen principle of effortless effort encourages us to focus on actions rather than outcomes. Dedicate yourself to your goals without seeking external validation. Let your achievements speak for themselves. 2. Create a vision board, instead of discussing your plans, visualize them privately. A vision board serves as a silent reminder of your aspirations and keeps you motivated without external influence. 3. Share when ready, timing is crucial. When your plans have matured and are well on their way to fruition, you can share them with your family. By then, the foundation is strong enough to withstand opinions or doubts, the deeper wisdom of silence. In Zen and Buddhist teachings, silence is not simply the absence of sound but a profound state of being. It is an active choice to preserve peace, clarity, and intention. By avoiding unnecessary sharing, you create a sacred space within yourself, a space that allows wisdom to flourish. The role of karma and words, Buddhist philosophy emphasizes that every word we speak carries karma. Words have the power to heal, harm, build, or destroy. When you share your struggles, financial matters, or dreams, you generate a karmic ripple that affects not only you but also those you share with, guarding karma, by choosing silence, you avoid creating unnecessary ripples of doubt, envy, or misunderstanding, speaking with intention, when you do speak, let your words align with truth, compassion, and purpose, addressing counterarguments, is discretion isolation. Some may argue that avoiding sharing with family fosters isolation. However, Zen philosophy clarifies that discretion is not about building walls but about cultivating mindful connections. Balance between sharing and silence, one, authentic connection, share emotions, joys, and moments of gratitude with your family. These deepen bonds without exposing your vulnerabilities, two, mindful listening, instead of speaking, practice listening. When you give your family the gift of attention, you create a sense of closeness without the need for oversharing. 3. Quality over quantity, it is not how much you share but what you share that matters. Choose moments that foster understanding and trust, when you embody the wisdom of silence and discretion, its benefits extend beyond your immediate life. 1. Strengthen relationships, by reducing the potential for conflict or misunderstanding. You nurture harmony within your family, too. Inner peace, the less you seek external validation, the more you align with your true self. This alignment brings clarity and serenity. 3. Inspiration to others, when your family witnesses your quiet strength and success, they are inspired to cultivate the same qualities within themselves, the seeker returned to the Zen master years later, radiating confidence and peace. Master, he said, I have kept my struggles, finances, and dreams to myself, as you advised. In doing so, I have found not only strength but also deeper love and respect for my family. The master smiled, pointing to the still pond once more. Your silence has calmed the waters. He said. Now, the reflection of the moon is clear, and so is your path. This story is a timeless reminder that wisdom often lies not in what we say, but in what we choose to withhold. Let silence be your strength, discretion your guide, and inner peace your ultimate goal, in the end, the greatest gift you can give your family is your presence, free from unnecessary words and burdens. By embracing the power of silence, you honor not only yourself but also the sacred bonds that unite you. The wisdom of Zen and Buddhist teachings shines brightest when practiced with intention, humility, and love. Thanks for watching. Hope enjoyed this video, 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Just click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next. See you in the next video.